Lord. And we greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are so elated that you have chosen to spend your Sunday worship experience with us. On behalf of our pastor and first lady, the ministers and members of Eula Refuge Tabernacle and First Refuge in Barnwell, we say praise the Lord and welcome. Service will begin momentarily. We invite you to like and share this live stream service at this time. We also invite you to be active in the comments to give praises to our Lord, encouraging to the worship leaders and the man of God as he brings forth the word on this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Have thine own way, Lord. 
thou art the potter and I am the clay, signifying, my God, the yielding of one to the will and the desire of our God. Lord, my soul says yes to you. Thank you, Brother Jonathan. As always, beautiful hymn, a praise unto the Lord. God bless you today. We certainly bless God and welcome you to Sunday morning worship with Beulah Refuge Tabernacle of Orangeburg and First Refuge of Barnwell, Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for your choosing to be with us as we together go into the presence of the Lord to worship and to praise him. Let's keep each other in mind as we pray. Remember, amen, our church mother, amen, Mother uh, Inez Dunning, and her husband in our prayers as the Lord continue to touch his body. Remember all those who you may know that may be under the gun and the attack of the adversary. Let us pray one for another to know that our God indeed is the able God and we trust and rely upon him <clears throat> in Jesus' name. Amen. And we're not going to relent as our Deacon Simpson was teaching in the Sunday school this morning. We're not going to let our faith fail in the face of fear, but we're going to trust God, amen, to take us through. Let us bow our heads now in a short season of prayer. Gracious and eternal God, our Father, it is in the name of your dear son, Jesus, that we come, Lord, to say thank you for your many blessings that you bestowed upon us. We're grateful, Lord, because we understand and know that there is none to deliver but you and you alone. None can bring us out. None can do what you can do. And therefore, Lord, we yield ourselves and our situations into your safekeeping. We pray now, God, that you would touch, heal, and deliver those who are under the attack of the adversary. Lord God, reach forth your hand of deliverance and do it now for your glory. Lord, we pray for those who are sick in their bodies, those who are troubled within their mind, those who that are confused, Lord God. Oh, God, give peace and security. And Lord God, in the midst of their trust in you, Lord God, let them have that blessed assurance, Lord. We praise you now. Now, Father, bless as we go into worship, as we go into praise. I pray, God, that you bless every song and every praise that go before you. Bless the man serving today as he ministers your word. Give him a word in season, Lord, a word that will bless and encourage and prick the hearts of that one that know you're not, Lord. God, bless now as only you can do. Dear Lord, we pray for our nation our president, and all the governmental leaders. We pray for them, Lord God, that their hearts may be yielded to you, that they might hear a word, Lord God, for the right direction for our nation. Bless us now, Lord God, <clears throat> and keep us in your care. Lord, do it for your glory, Lord, and we'll praise you and magnify you. It's your servant's prayer now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to take for a scripture reading from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 through 8. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 through 8. The Bible reads, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them that also love his appearing. May the Lord bless the reading of his word and sanctify it within our hearts. God bless you now as we prepare to move further on into our worship experience, as we've been led now into praise and worship by our sister Dolores Smith. Let us receive right now, Sister Smith. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many know that our God reigns? He reigns above everything, all things in the name of Jesus, right? Come on, clap your hands if you don't mind. Your God reigns. He's a mighty God. Worship in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. See my God reigns. My God See our God reigns. Oh Lord, you reign above every day. My God reigns. See our God reigns. 
the desires of their heart. Welcome to this Sunday worship experience with First Refuge of Barnwell and Beulah Refuge Tabernacle, where we are built on word, prayer, and praise. We thank you for joining us this morning for service via Facebook Live and teleconference call. And we pray that you are blessed today through the message that will be brought forth by our assistant pastor, Elder Kelsey Mess. We invite you to like and share this live stream service at this time. Our announcements are as follows. Please join us for our fourth Wednesday Sisters in Prayer teleconference call. This Wednesday, April the 28th at 6.30 a.m. The conference call number is 978-990-5481. Access code 393-4916. Join us Wednesday evening via Facebook Live and teleconference call at 7.30 p.m. for our monthly missionary service. Our theme is Consider Jesus, coming from Hebrews 12 and 4. Again, that is this Wednesday evening, April the 28th at 7.30 p.m. for our monthly missionary service. Our theme is Consider Jesus, from Hebrews 12 and 4. Join us again on next Sunday for Virtual Sunday School at 11.30 a.m. for Sunday school via Zoom. Please use your same link from this week's service. Parents, please be reminded to type your child's full name in in the logout so they may be logged in so they may be placed in the correct breakout room. If you have not received the link for Sunday school and you would like to do so, please email us at Tabernacle at gmail.com to request the Sunday school link be sent to you. At this time, we would like to share with you the opportunity to support this ministry with your tithes and offerings via PayPal and Cash App. You may visit our website at www.bulerefugetabernacle.com and click the link online giving, or you may go directly through PayPal and search for Bula Refuge Tabernacle. You may also give via Cash App. Our handle is dollar sign Bula RFT. You may send prayer requests by visiting our website at www.bulerefugetabernacle.com and clicking on the link prayer request. Or you may email them directly to bulerefugetabernacle.com. Let us continue to pray for each person that is on our prayer and sick list, as well as those throughout our world who have been stricken by COVID-19. We would like to ask for prayer for a niece of Sister Sandy Wright, who had to have emergency surgery on this morning. Let us continue to remember her in prayer. Also, let us continue to pray for God's covering and healing during this difficult time. Our quote for the week is, The crowning jewel of accomplishment is completion by Bishop David A. Smith. The crowning jewel of accomplishment is completion. Bishop David A. Smith. Let us now bring our hearts and minds ready to hear God's dream of word brought forth by his manservant, our assistant pastor, Elder Kelsey Mess, following the morning sermonic solo. God bless you and have a phenomenal day. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many know that he's a rock, huh? Put your hands together in the house. Oh, yes, he is. Come on, put your hands together. Give God a praise. Oh, God, he is. God, he is. Oh,
Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody ought to praise the Lord. The Bible said, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord, for he is excellent in all the earth. Give him a big shout out. Amen. If you know that God has been good to you, Amen. You ought to give him a praise. Amen. From the fruits of your lips. Oh, it's not my intentions to be before you long. Look with us to Psalms 126, beginning at the first verse. Psalms 126. Amen. We reverence. Amen. The spirit of the Lord. Amen. Which is everywhere at all times. We give double honor to our beloved pastor, Bishop David Apple Smith. And all the saints and our shepherd mother, Smith, amen. And we will be sending our prayers, amen, for our, amen, sister Wright, 
Amen. God bless her in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Even now, Lord, wonderful Savior, he can do the miraculous even now. That's what Martha said. Even now, Lord, my God, thank you, Jesus, wonderful Savior. Amen. Psalms 126 and the first verse says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said that among the heathens, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. I would like to leave a thought with you on this morning from the topic, he turned it again. You ought to tell yourself, tell your neighbor, he turned it again. Oh, yes. And my subtopic, subtopic is once more, once more. He turned it again. And here is the word captivity, and the definition is the conditions of being in prison or confined. The conditions. And notice the word when. Its definition is at that time, a uh, period, he came with deliverance. When? At that time. There's another word, again, meaning once more. Once more, and that's our subtopic, once more. Repetition of help to his children and others. Here, this story is the identification of his children being in captivity, Zion. They were enslaved by many nations and kings in foreign lands but never forsaken by Jehovah, their God. God performed many feats of his powerful methods of delivering. Remember the three Hebrew boys, Shabrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, or these Boys were bound in their clothes and their hoses and their hats and other garments were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace because they refused to worship King Nebuchadnezzar, idol God. And they were cast in, but God was with them. Thank you, Jesus. And he had already placed his word to protect these young men in the fire. Somebody said, but God was with them and the whole nation that was enslaved by the King Nebuchadnezzar. And the King was furious because these young men would not bow to his idol God. And so they were cast in, but the furnace, but the fiery furnace slew the men that cast those young boys in. 
because they had no true God on their side. Thank you, Jesus. I wish I had a praying church. And here they were bound. They were cast in bound. And in the fire, it is said that when the king looked in the fire to see if they had perished, that's what he looked in there for. But when he looked in there, he said, did not we cast in three? And they said, true, O king. But, we, but he saw four. And they said, the fourth individual looks like the son of God. He saw four. Jesus got in the fire with them. The fire burned. The things that had their feet bound and their hands and their wrists bound and tied. But the fire didn't burn any clothing items on their body. Now don't ask me how God did that because he's God. Oh, yes. And he's a God that delivers from captive stories. Yes. And here the king said, he answered and said, I see men loose in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. And thank God, the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. I preached a message one time. Thank God for the fourth man. You ought to give God some praise. Because if it wasn't for the fourth man, we too would have perished in our furnace of affliction. But Jesus is with us. And here, these young men, you know the story, they have been captured with the nation of Judah. And Daniel all were enslaved at this time. But their deliverance came from an unlikely resource. Oh, yes. Who would have thought the king that threw them in the fire would have been the one that would help deliver them out of the fire. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Jesus. And they were promoted first by God. They said promotion doesn't come from the east nor the west, but the promotion comes from God. Yes, and because God promoted them, that's right, didn't let the fire destroy them. King Nebuchadnezzar promoted them. That's right. It says that there was upon whose bodies the fire had no power and the head, hair and the head was not singed, neither was the coat changed, nor did the smell of fire pass over them. Oh, yes. We serve an awesome God. Oh, yes. And they came out of the fire, and the king promoted them in the providence of Babylon. He promoted them. And King Nebuchadnezzar said, there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. My God. I'm so glad that I got the right God. Oh, yes. And his name is Jesus. You ought to give God some praise. Amen. He's going to turn it again. Your captivity situation. Now the rest of the nation is still enslaved. And they're still enslaved in Babylon. 
but their help is on the way. You ought to give God a praise before the help arrive. Amen. Because your help is on the way. Oh, yes. God will exalt you in due season if you faint not. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Though they were enslaved, some were more blessed than others. And when the difficulty arose, God showed up with his delivering powers. He said in Isaiah, when thou passest through the waters, I'll be with you. I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. Oh, yes. God's word is true. His word has gone out of his mouth. Amen. And he watches over his word to perform it. You ought to give him some praise. His word has already gone out of his mouth to bless his children, no matter where they're at. Oh, yes. On this occasion, they were in captivity in Babylon, but God already had a method of deliverance. And all they had to do is wait on him. Oh, yes. When they first arrived in Babylon, by the rivers of Babylon, they hung their hops on the willow tree. Glory. Somebody said, get your harp off the willow tree and begin to play that instrument. Amen. For you have nothing to be sad about. My God. Because the God you serve is able to deliver you by few a many. You ought to give God some praise Go in this house. He said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. You ought to tell yourself, tell your neighbor, I'm coming out of this. Glory. Amen. Because God has proven himself. Amen. In time past. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, yes. Amen. And here he says he will turn the captivity again. Oh, yes. As much as needed. Amen. For deliverance, he will give that which is needed. The blessings of the Lord, it said, it maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. We speak as the oracles of God. Oh, yes. We say what God says. Oh, yes. With his stripes, we are already healed. Oh, yes. The feelings don't have nothing to do with it. It's what you say out of your mouth. Oh, yes. Speak life. You shall live and not die. Oh, yes. And declare the works of the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Here is God's word. He said, for all the promises of God are yes. Oh, yes. Not one of his, amen, not one of his letter of his word shall fail. Amen. If it fails, then heaven and earth passes away. But the last time I checked, Amen. The earth is still here and the heavens are still there. The stars and the moon are still in place. Amen. That we might behold the glory of God. Oh, yes. Amen. You ought to give God some praise. Every valley shall be exalted. Every valley. Every valley experience. Amen. He said it shall be done away with. Every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Oh, yes, Zion says, we were like them that dreamed when the Lord restored <coughs> their fortune. Their response was one of joy and laughter. Oh, yes, 
and those around them proclaimed that God had done great deeds for them. It says the heathens said that the Lord has done great things for them. <clears throat> and then they confess the Lord has done great things for us. You ought to give God some praise. Amen. You ought to tell him glory. Oh, yes. Glory. Oh, yes. And here is a scripture in Isaiah 60 and 22. And it says in reference to the children of Israel, a little one shall become a thousand. This is God increasing the number of Israel. Lights. A little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. And the Lord will hasten it in his time. Oh, yes. Amen. God, amen, had given Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob a promise about their seed. <coughs> saying they should go down into a strange land and be enslaved. But they shall come out. Oh, yes. You ought to give God some praise with great substance. Oh, yes. They came out with the gold and the silver. Oh, yes. Oh, God. They came out in good health. Oh, yes. All their livestock were in great health. Nothing sick. Amen. Nothing was dying. Oh, God. Even when they were trapped at the Red Sea, God. Amen. Sent a pillar, amen, a cloud to lead them <coughs> through the Red Sea and not to perish at the Red Sea. Amen. Had a pillar of fire, amen, to protect them from the rear guard. Oh, yes. Look at the security of the people of God. When God sends a promise, oh, yes, he cannot lie. Oh, yes, his word must, amen. They materialize, amen, what he says. Oh, yes, you know the story. It was at the Red Sea, amen, that God sent the east wind, parted the sea, amen, as Moses took his rod and opened up the sea, amen, and the eastern wind blew all night, amen, after Pharaoh said, I'm going to get my slaves back. I'm going to go get them back, but God, amen, had sent up a pillar of fire that protected them and he couldn't get them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you know the story. Amen. How they walked on dry ground in the bed of the ocean of the Red Sea. Oh, yes. And made it to the other side. Saw their enemies perished in the waters of the Red Sea and said, the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. You ought to give God some praise. Amen. That God knows how to deliver and when to deliver. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. You ought to give them a big shout out. Say glory. When the time is right, he's going to make it happen. Oh, yes, he is going to make it happen. Oh, yes, he's that type of God. I was discussing with my dear mother. Oh, yes. And we were discussing, amen, Hannah and how her adversaries made her cry. Oh, yes, which was Peni, which was Echonai, other wife, because she could have children. And she made Hannah feel real bad. But I'm telling you that God had his hand on Hannah too. You know the story. Her names mean favor and grace. Oh, yes. And it was that favor. Oh, God, that she eventually gets her first child, which was Samuel. Well, you know the story. And it was she vowed to return Samuel to the Lord, that the Lord would use Samuel for his glory. And this is what she said in the second chapter, 
amen, of that book. She said, the Lord, it's in Samuel, the second chapter. She said, the Lord has favored me with a child. Oh, yes, you ought to give God some praise. Oh, yes, she got her breakthrough. And then she said, he said, the Lord has made the barren. Because she was barren, she couldn't have children. He said, but the Lord, amen, made the barren, which was she, amen, bore seven sons. I wish I had a praying church. Oh, yes, if you think God, amen, has finished blessing you, amen, there's more on the way. There is more joy on the way. There is more peace on the way. Oh, yes, and she said, and she that was able to produce children has become feeble. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. God, amen, got his blessings in store for you. Oh, yes. Amen. He will turn it again, your captivity. Amen. Once more. And she went away rejoicing because she bore seven sons. Oh, yes. I wish I had a praying church. Oh, yes. She said, the hungry has ceased. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you know the story about Samuel, how he grew, amen, to be a mighty priest. Oh, yes. Amen. Look at this. Amen. And this priest, amen, name meaning Samuel, meaning God has heard. Oh yes, a God hears, meaning God has answered. Oh yes, amen, because God hears every prayer request, but when he answers, you ought to give God some praise. He answered, amen, and she had, amen, a son, and then that son grew up, took the place of Eli, and it said he grew Amen. And come to know the voice of the Lord. Oh, yes. And once he knew the voice of the Lord, he didn't have to go to Eli no more. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. And here, Samuel knew his voice, the Lord's voice. And after he matures, amen, in the ministry as the priest. Oh, yes. It is said that God said that none of Samuel's words fell to the ground. In other words, none of his words fail. Oh, yes. I wish I had a praying church. Oh, yes. Amen. God will turn your captivity again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That our sons may be as plants growing up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace that our garners may be full, affording all manner of store, that there be no complaining in the streets. Oh, yes, amen. Happy is that people that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. You ought to lift your hands up and say, my God is the Lord. Oh, yes, happy is that people because God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Amen. As he said it, shall he not do it? Or uh, has he spoken? Shall he not make it good? Oh, yes. Amen. Behold. Oh, yes. You know the story here. Amen. Behold. This is what Balaam said to Balak. Behold, I received commandment to bless. And he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. Somebody said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment, God will condemn. Oh, yes. You want to give God a big shout out. Oh, yes. Amen. That God said, no weapon. Amen. Thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Somebody said always. Oh, yes. He calls us to triumph. Amen. In our situation. Amen. He knows 
how to defeat every disease, every sickness, because he is the healer. Oh, yes. Amen. He is, amen, the greatest delivery out of poverty. Oh, yes. He said he is the first and he is the last. He is the beginning and he is the end. You ought to give God some praise. Amen. That once more, he will come to your aid. Once more, amen, the psalmist said, Behold, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Oh, yes, you ought to give God some praise. He said, I will, I will joy. That's what Habakkuk said. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Therefore, with joy, you shall draw waters out of the wells of salvation. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, yes. That's what we have to do when we're waiting. Get your joy. Get your peace. The peace of God. He said, he said, I created the light and the darkness. He said, I created the evil. And the Lord said, I make peace. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. God is the peacemaker. Oh, yes. Amen. Wonderful. Counselor. The mighty God. Amen. The everlasting father. The prince of peace. Oh, yes. He is the God. Amen. That has delivered in time past. He's proven himself. Amen. That he will deliver you from your captive story. Amen. And you know the story. Amen. As I'm about to close, you know the story here. Amen. God rings up, raises up King Cyrus. Oh, yes. Babylon is a vast nation that is mighty and powerful, but God raises up King Cyrus. He said, he's my anointed one. He's my shepherd. Amen. Somebody that don't even know God, don't honor God, but God raised up King Cyrus. Amen. With his mighty army comes in and dethrones Babylon. Oh, free the children of Israel. Send them back home to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. Just like God said, I will rebuild Amen. The waste places. I will restore. Amen. That was destroyed. I wish I had a praying church. He said, I will restore what the cranker worm and the locust and the caterpillar has eaten. God said, I will restore. You want to give God some praise once again. He said, I'll restore your health. I'll restore your wealth. Oh, yes, because. I'm God. Amen. We are the trusting in God. Somebody give him glory. Somebody give him praise. Oh, yes. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Oh, yes. He is our keeper. He slumbers not, neither does he sleep. Oh, yes, except the Lord keep the city. Uh, amen. Is the amen the God? He watches in vain. Somebody said, Thank God for the Lord is on our side. Amen. When our enemies rose up against us, it was the Lord that defeated them. You ought to give God some praise. Amen. That our God made it happen. Oh, yes. Our God made it happen. He says, when the time is right, I will make it happen. He said, yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. Oh, yes. He said, my sheep know my voice, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. And now that can any man pluck them out of my hand. You ought to give God some praise. Oh, yes. God says this about you. He was teaching the Jews in the New Testament. He was declaring to them. He said, well, Jesus said, is it not written in the law? I said, you are God's. 
It's a small G. G O D S. He said, and if I called you gods to whom the word of God came, he was speaking to the Jews. He said, the scripture cannot be broken. Whatever Jesus said about you, oh yes, it can't be changed. The devil can't change it. Oh yes, because Jesus is the life giver. He said he will turn out captivity. He will turn out imprisonment. He will turn out our confinement. He said they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Oh yes, David, King David sowed in tears and God said that he will bottle his tears. And it shows an intimacy, imaginary that God is near in our hurt. Oh, yes. He's not far from you when you shed in tears. He's right there. And the scripture said, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. You ought to give God some praise. You know, David cried and said, my own flesh and blood cease to kill me and take my life. And he flees his throne. After God had established him, he flees his throne because he didn't want to slaughter in a warfare that would kill off, amen, the people with him. So he flees with his soldiers and those that were with, with him. He flees barefooted and, amen, and hooded. Oh, yes, he was weeping which was a sign of mourning in the Old Testament. But God had already anointed David, almost through, but God had already anointed David to be king above his brothers. You know the story. Oh, yes, God, Samuel asked Jesse, do you have another son? He said, yeah, I got one out there tending to the sheep. And Samuel said, bring him here. And when he saw him, he said, that's the one. He took the awl and pulled on his head. Oh, yes, I'm telling you, for your sake, don't touch God's anointed. He said, don't do his prophets no harm. It's for your sake. Oh, yes. Amen. And David, amen, son Absalom was killed by David's general. And David said, keep him alive. But the general said no and took his life because he wouldn't change. Amen. He would try to overthrow David again. Oh, yes. But David fast and prayed. And they were quiet to tell the king that his son had been killed. Oh, yes. But that was a bad situation. But God had put David on the throne and nobody could take it. Nobody can take your position in God. It is your gift that makes room for you. Oh, yes. God gave you a gift. Oh, yes. And the gift that God gives you, he makes room. Oh, yes, hold on, wait on the Lord, and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen our heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord, but he won't fail you. He's never failed. He may not come when you want him, but he's on time. Oh, yes, he's an on-time God. Oh, yes, he will make it happen. You know the story. They counted him out after the third day. Oh, yes, on the road of Ignatius, the two disciples said he hadn't come yet. And here Jesus is talking with them. Oh, yes, and he sets them down and breaks, amen, bread with them and eats with them. And, and after a while, when they saw him doing the same daily method, they said, their eyes were open, and they know that was Jesus. And when their eyes were open, Jesus vanished out of their sight. And somebody said, did not our heart burn within us when he spoke to us? Oh, yes, I tell you, he's able to come and rid you of your fears. The disciples were in hiding. Oh, yes, and he came, comes in the midst of them. 
go, yes. And he said, peace be unto you. Oh, yes. You ought to give God some praise and you know the story. He tells them, hey, man, touch me and see that I'm not a spirit, flesh and blood. Oh, yes. Touch me, feel the hole in my hand, the nail prints in my hand and the hole in my side and see that I'm not a spirit. Oh, yes. They touched him. Oh, yes. He said, bring me some bread. Oh, yes, and he ate with them. Amen. To prove that his word said that he will return on the third day. He will resurrect himself. And he wore the title. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Oh, yes, no man. Oh, yes, come to the Father but by me. You ought to give him a big shout out that you have a resurrected Savior who can deliver you from death, who can deliver you from any sickness, who can deliver you out of any trouble. Oh, yes, we've got the right one. Greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Oh, yes, you can rejoice. Somebody said, glory. He turned the captivity once more. Again, in whatever you're going through, he will turn it again because you're his children, you his child. Now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Speak as the oracles of God. That's right. He said, let the weak say I'm strong. That's right. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. He turned it again. Once more, he'll turn it again for you. Back in the hands of our bishop, David Atkins. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Elder. What a dynamic word. Praise the name of the Lord. He'll turn it again. If he did it before, he, he'll do it again. You are his people. Thank God. Amen. As the word said, happy is the people whose God is the Lord. Isn't that wonderful that you know that God is your Lord? The one that said, let there be. And has the power to deliver in the voice of his mouth. And we certainly bless the Lord today. We certainly thank God again for you joining with us. And it is our prayer that you have been blessed, that you have been encouraged, that you have received a word from the Lord. Amen. To help you through this day. Amen. To help you through the next day. And every word of God is true. And we, God's word is hidden in our heart, as David said, that we might not sin against him. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's keep each other in our prayers. Pray one for another that the Lord might bless and keep us. Now, I want you to be mindful that we are headed fast toward Pentecost. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The, um, uh, I think it's the fourth Sunday in May, May 23rd, is uh, Pentecost Sunday that we will be celebrating. Amen. The outpouring of the Holy Ghost upon the earth. 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus. Amen. The Holy Ghost fell upon the church in Jerusalem. Amen. It is our time to celebrate that time. I'm glad to be saved. Glad I got the Holy Ghost. And God, my Savior, thank the spoken tongues when the Holy Ghost came. And thank God he's still at work and living within me. Now, I also want you to be mindful that we will be getting our, the Pentecostal fast 10 days before Pentecost. Amen. And it was 10 days after the Lord um, uh, transitioned back to heaven, that the Holy Ghost fell upon the church. The Bible tells us that he tabernacled with them 40 days after his resurrection. He made by infallible proof. 40 days after his passion, that first chapter of Acts tells us, he tabernacled with them. And on the outskirts of the city, he told them to go to Jerusalem. And the Bible said when the day of Pentecost was fully come, 
My God, they were in one place. That was 10 days after the resurrection. 10 days after the Passover. Praise the name of the Lord that our Lord was, uh, the Holy Ghost came. And we will begin the Pentecost fast on the 14th of May. Beginning at 6 o'clock every morning until 6 o'clock in the evening until that Sunday after service on Pentecost Sunday. Friday, May 14th, we will begin our Pentecost fast, a 10-day fast, uh, praise the name of the Lord, uh, from that time. Now, some people fast uh, 21 days uh, prior to Pentecost and some a whole month. But I believe that it was the Lord sent them 10 days prior to the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, which was that time. And we're not going to be in a disagreement with anybody. That's just what uh, we feel led to do, and that's what we're going to do by the grace of God. Amen. On the 14th of, uh, of May, uh, 6 o'clock that morning to 6 o'clock that evening every day until after service on Sunday the 23rd, 10 days. Amen. God bless you, sir. Look, look forward to that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look forward to being with the missionaries on Wednesday night as they will be sharing with us. And we're looking forward to that in the early morning sense of Wednesday morning prayer. Um, uh, check uh, Bill Refuge Tabernacle uh, uh, account out and you'll get more information relative to that in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Let's keep each other in our prayers and let's look unto the Lord. Remember, that if he did it one time, he'll do it again. God bless you again, LMA, for that dynamic word in Jesus' name. Now, remember what I tell you all the time. If somebody tell you, Shepherd Mother Smith and Bishop Smith don't love you, take them by the hand and say, let's go see them. I promise you, they're going to turn your hand loose. God bless you. We're going to come down to our sister Denise, I think. They're going to have some final words for us. And we'll see you again by the grace of God real soon. God bless you. Have a great day. For joining us, First Refuge of Barnwell and New Refuge Tabernacle on this morning. We pray that you have been blessed by the room of word brought forth by our sister pastor. We hope to see you again this Wednesday evening for our missionary service. Have a blessed week and continue to remember he turned it.